Okay, so in this section, we're going to get into a line section, the very first one, revolve the section removed. Um, it, it, it just telling you that we're going to remove the revolve sections, right, in the align sections. Align section is, uh, um, it has like four different types, yeah, and this is the very first type. I can show you the review if you need to review it. So here, this is your review. Yeah, we started full health, offset, breaking out, your auxiliary and partial, and then your standard breaks, and then your aligned. And we have a four different applications, right? So the very first one is your revolve remove, then revolve in place, revolve with conventional breaks, and then we have revolve uh, features in section. I uh, we did a little bit of overview right after the cross hatching, the longitudinal yeah, sections. Um, but you can't really see it anyway. That's just a two slide talking about the inline section um, because the conventional method for cross hatching yeah, is uh, completely uh, linked to the inline section. And so we know how to deal with them. Okay, so let's go back uh, to the uh, revolve remove. So here we are. So, so let's start. Right, so revolve sections, um, so on uh, revolve sections, uh, you're dealing with the uh, specialized methods, yeah? And we're dealing with the uh, um, showing the geometric shapes, yeah? But sometimes you can see, so revolve meaning like we're turning it around or rotating it, so we can be able to show the geometric shapes of the uh, model that we are dealing with, yeah? So here we have a pencil, so we're going to develop the revolve section, yeah? Turn it around. Um, in the other uh, in next slides, of course, yeah, and you can see uh, how we do it. And um, since we are dealing with a revolve, meaning rotating, yeah, turning it around, so you your cutting cutting plane, yeah, uh, it's gonna become the axis of rotation. Okay. So when we deal with the drawing, uh, you have to to remove, uh, you know, some of the revolve sections, so you can be able to uh, see, yeah, you know, through the axis of rotation uh, in the uh, section view, align section view, of course. Okay, so when we take a look at this given pencil model, yeah, you know, we see like a different feature. And then look at this, the sharp end, and you have like a body and then your, your end is also completely different because you have an eraser yeah at the end of this uh, model so therefore we got to yeah remove a three cross section um which is one two and then three yeah which is going to uh, uh, include all of these uh, different features yeah on your model so the very first section we're going to put our cutting plane as usual because we want to go into our section view yeah uh, this time we're doing the align section and we're going to revolve remove it. Yeah? And this is our first cut, of course, and we're going to remove that right section. So let's see. The second one, right, is uh, here. So that's the body of your pencil. Yeah. And uh, the basic shape of that is uh, kind of like a hexagon. Yeah. You can see it right here. Uh, after we cut it, you can be able to see it. So just be patient. So this view, you can use it to define the actual side, yeah? Uh, also the form. We're going to do exact same thing, yeah? Your cutting plane, yeah? And then to revolve it. All right, the next one, we will go into the third section, yeah? Uh, where your uh, pencil head or, or tip or point is. So the basic shape. Yeah, when you carefully look at it, it's kind of like an ice cream cone, yeah? So therefore, it's a conical. So the diameter is determined at the location on the section cutting plane again here, the third one. All right, the next one. So look at this, a second example. You have a hook, yeah, a crane hook. And you can see, see like how the curve they change yeah they change when you have a one see become straight down kind of uh, angle down and then another curve followed by a second actually this is third curve yeah and then go all the way up another curve here so you can see the controls are completely changing in direction yeah along this uh of course a hook so we gotta do the revolve remove yeah why because of various intervals 
a lot of the features necessary you know for us to include all of the internal yeah, the features of this uh, hook because we have like a different thickness and forms at different location of your model so therefore we will have to use a revolve sections remove method so the first one yeah your cutting plane is going to go uh, in this way yeah in this direction your axis of rotation of course very important and you can be able to see the section view yeah this is your cutting plane which is your axis of rotation we are rotating to the right otherwise you can't be able to see the internal feature of this part here yeah? on this hook the next uh, section we do we uh, do the second revolve remove here so you can see the section view here yeah of this shape which is from here all the way to there your center line is right there which is your cutting plane became the axis of rotation and you're rotating yeah again in this interval again uh, rotating to the right yeah that's why you can be able to see this um, surface cut surface you have your all of this across hatches right there for you we're dealing with a cast iron yeah okay the third section shows for the variation because again your contour changes yeah go all the way of course this is your axis which is the same thing as your cutting plane yeah and here is our section view which is your align section we use a revolve section removed and the fourth one yeah another different uh, location yeah and a different um again a contour inside is different yeah also outside is different so you can be able to see see the hook of the section so it depends on the geometry of the hook that we can uh, do the revolve remove uh, as many sections as we need sometimes they're here because the tip is different sometimes right there too because it's different yeah and the starting point of your hook is different from the end point all right next one now the next example we're dealing with a uh, this is a steel solid steel pinch or pry bar yeah so we have a you look at this a geometry of this so we have yeah octagonal all the way to the conical because this is cone yeah make sure that you review your geometry yeah here look at this this uh, part of this object is very different also here yeah so here is the body so let's see um, how are we going to cut in section as a one two three four in order for us to uh, include all of this a thickness and the location different locations on the model yeah so we'll do the same thing revolve sections remove a method and we'll do a different one so let's go the very first cut and your section is like this okay and your center line of course or rotation your axis of rotation is the same as your cutting plane yeah and this is what we are seeing in, uh, here and we of course we rotate it if you don't rotate it you can be able to see it yeah all right the next one we'll do the same thing your cutting plane became the axis of rotation we have to rotate it because if you don't rotate it you can't be able to see it yeah after rotating of course this is a phantom drawing which you don't want to include it in your completed drawing yeah so we just we just want our complete drawing outside of the object yeah the after turning uh, we're turning of course uh, in the uh, clockwise direction and you got to rotate it otherwise uh, you can't be able to see uh, because your line of sight is from this way looking at it yeah and of course the rest of them here each one of them okay this section is different because look at that the geometry changes yeah and here even little tiny more yeah circle right there because uh, you are at the tip of your cone here conical view you got it okay if we cut it this way then we have a different yeah and also we can cut the tip yes so you can do as many revolve section view as you like yeah to define the uh, geometry of your part all right next one is a removed section another application under a line sectioning uh, let's start with the same object yeah 
And here, it will help to show the cutting for remove section sectioning so method. You want to use the, uh, um, uh, this is your cutting plane and your label, right? And also, you got you have to show the line of sight. Okay, so you know how different the direction is. Uh, they're 180 degree opposite to each other. Yeah, AA section and BB section. So you see, section and your GD sections are different. So let's take a look at our section view. So this is your section view of your section AA cutting this way. And you can see, because see this uh, geometry here, yeah, it's a pretty uh, rectangular. Here we're cutting into a octagon. Yeah, so section BB, section view is different. Section C, the first a cone, a conical geometry start right here around here. Yeah? So you got a bigger circle and then a um, smaller circle. Of course, uh, remove sections on that. Since we remove it, we got to show in which direction that your cutting plane is removing that part. So we're removing this that way. And this for this two section, we're removing that way. Okay. So where are you going to place your views? You can place, yes, um, at a convenient location in your drawing where your space is allowed, of course. Your US standard never ever place right in front of your cutting plane. You can do that. You can place away from it, but don't in front of it. Yeah. Because you will get confused with your first angle on projection. Okay, the next one is a section views revolved in place application. We we'll use the same object right there. Section, uh, align section views for the revolved in place. Uh, we'll follow the first revolve remove uh, section by, you know, like working on this object. The same thing that we did. So you'll create uh, a revolve section, yeah? A uh, view of your octagonal portion of the bar, which is this guy, yeah? So here, what's different is that we're putting it straight into the object, see? Um, there's no breaks, of course. So why do we call this method revolve in place is we're revolving uh, right in there. Yes, right in the object, not outside. So let's do it, see? Right in the object. Um, I'm going to go back, see? So how we draw the cone, uh, not outside of the object, but inside of the object. And we call that the revolved, we are revolving or rotating inside of the object. And that's uh, the name of the application, revolved in place. Now let's get into a second example here. Yeah. So here in this casting, you have a close your web so you can be able to uh, see it. Yeah. So this is your top and then this is your front view. And uh, here, look at that. We're doing an in-place revolved. So here, this revolve uh, in-place, yes, sectioning that we're doing for align sectioning. It is straight in the object that we do. So you can be able to see, you know, how um, the web dimension, yes, uh, is in this object, okay? You can be able to clearly see that, yes? Um, because uh, this view completely eliminate yeah, uh, your doubts about the size and proportion of the web. Web is just a feature, yeah? Feature, I mean, like you can see the web in the uh, in this area, yeah? So if you look at uh, it from the top view, yeah? Here, this is your center. Uh, here is your center for your circle, and for this circle is on this side. And you can be able to see the bridge line, yeah? Here is the body connecting to each other, yeah? You can be able to see this and right underneath and uh, you can be able to see the web which is not uh, clear uh, in your top view is you can see it you, all right by sectioning revolve in place right uh, view from the front yeah this is your front view so now we can be able to um, see the dimension of that web yeah easier than this view okay so the next one is a revolve section within the conventional brakes. So when you have a conventional brake, so how are we going to do the revolve sectioning? So let's take a look at it. We're going to use the same object, yeah? Uh, you will have to show your, rever your revolve uh, section view within a conventional brake. 
So first we need the brakes, right? So we'll have to uh, construct that first. So there's my brake, yeah? When you have a brake like that, uh, how are we gonna draw the revolve section uh, for this uh, conventional brake? So here you can see the size of the section view, yeah? Determined by the location uh, of your cutting plane, yeah? Where it passes through that object and the outside boundary, all right? Lines do not connect with the section view. So meaning like, see this, since this is a break, yeah, when we're doing a revolve uh, section on the break, you are not going to touch it to the brakes. So, yeah, you have a first part and the second part, and here is a gap. And we're going to put our section view, which is, uh, which is produced by the method revolve section with a conventional brake application method. We will put it, right, the section view in between the two parts, yeah, uh, broken parts, of course. All right, the second break, short break, yeah. You have to have uh, enough space so you can be able to put your section view into it, okay? So we'll construct, of course, we're in the body of this object and we already knew the object body is octagonal. So therefore we're gonna put a octagonal section view right in there. Yeah, revolved it, of course. Revolved meaning like here you're, uh, you, you can see this surface only from that side. But if you rotate it along the cutting plane axis, all right, you can be able to see the surface that you would have seen from that side, right? I can um, draw draw a little uh, arrow for you, yeah, so that we um, so for this uh, for this object, right, your line of sight is like that, right? But if you draw it, you will have have seen only only like this edge, okay? So therefore, um, you will have to rotate it, okay? You're gonna have to rotate it. In order for you, uh, let's just assume that I have a polygon, okay, I don't even have a polygon, so, um, so let's just assume that your polygon, okay? Um, um, wait a minute. Your polygon, okay, is like this, and you have the axis of rotation is like that, okay? So um, here is, of course, I, I don't have a 3D, so it's very really difficult for me to rotate it um, to there. So anyways, if you rotate it, you know, you're going to get, the best I can do is like that, right? So if you look at, look at that, you will see like this, yeah? Therefore, you have to rotate it. Uh, around this axis, okay. Um, so let's, let's get this little pan here. So you have to rotate it, all right, on that axis. So you're rotating this thing like that, okay. So when you rotate it, then you're gonna see uh, that you know, rectangle like this, yeah. And that is what we're seeing right here, yeah. You know, if you didn't rotate it. It will be you will be seeing only the edge of that, yeah, broken edge of that. Okay. Okay, we will do the same thing for the conical, yeah. Uh, here we just put it straight in, so uh, that's uh, in place, yeah. So this is a revolve in place, and this one is a revolve with a conventional break, and that's a revolve section with a conventional break. Okay, here um, now we have a revolve uh, section view with a conventional break, yeah, because we're not touching our section view with any of the break ends here at all, yeah. Of course, you do your cross hatch depends on your material. Right now, we're assuming that it's a cast, yeah, cast iron. Okay, and then of course uh, here, look at this break. Yeah, it's a little. This break is a diff different break than that. You can see the area. Yeah, the area is an exposed. But here, you can see the internal area is exposed. So therefore, you are gonna put your um, cross hatch right on the exposed area. Yeah. All right. Two more examples. So here we have a top in front view. Your hidden lines is gonna show your hidden features, of course. And this is just a hollow tubing because we can say this is hollow because you can be able to see the center line right there. Yeah. Um, so first we got to do the break. Yeah. So cutting plane axis of rotation on the view of the tubing 
and we are going to construct a section view yeah so here we're going to do our breaks so this is our breaks showing the exposed uh, you know, uh, area on the breaks and this is your section view of the uh, uh, section view but revolved meaning like rotated yes uh, to the right side so you can be able to see this surface that you can't see from that side yeah um we're on the top view by the way so you're rotating you're looking it down yeah so you will rotate to your uh, line of sight okay we are going to do the same thing yeah We outline the hidden line, yes. Your front view. We're going to put our, our revolve section in place. Then we're going to break it, yeah, remove the outline. And the hidden lines between the breaks, we don't need it. Get rid of it, yeah. Um, make sure you cross hatch the exposed area and also on your section view. The third example, you're dealing with. We already have. We have. We have already seen uh, this type of yeah object. Here we're gonna have our revolve section. We're gonna put in our revolve section in place. Cross hatch it. Okay. And this is, I'm going back here. This is the same as your web, yeah, another web that you can be able to see. So um, you have your uh, front view, yeah, of the web. And we have a revolve section in place, all right, section view clearly, yeah, a scene right here on, uh, from the front view. This is not a revolved uh, for the uh, conventional break. Okay, this is just uh, in place on example. Okay, I don't know why this uh, robot section in view is uh, in place as uh, uh, example is uh, right out of the conventional break. This, sh this should have been on the uh, in the other yeah, section, but it's okay, but you kind of get it. Yeah, this is. Uh, with the conventional break and this one is a regular revolve section in place okay so now we'll get into our animation so let's take a look at let me pause it here uh, this is annoying so see you can be able to see the inside of it and you can see uh, how we're doing the align yes um sectioning by using a different uh, revolve remove revolved in place and revolved um with the uh, broken section showing you the web yeah. it's a pretty shorter shorter video but you can be able to say yeah this is a revolved in place on the video um, okay, so let's continue. Conventional break. It's kind of like going, going uh, back and forth. Anyway, well, anyway, you get it, yes. So let's get into the conventional break for the same uh, model. Yeah, we're gonna break it. And here is your uh, breaks. This part and then that part. And we're gonna construct a revolve section. Yes. So that's your revolve section from the front view showing the web, yeah. So let's take a look at our 3D. And we're cutting that away. And here is your break. We get rid of it. And you can be able to see inside, yeah, revolve section with the conventional breaks. I'm going to run it again. This is where we're going to break it, and this is where we're going to put on the revolve section with the conventional break. Yeah, I thought this has already been rotated along that axis of rotation. Okay, then let's go to the next yeah, uh, slide. And here you can see the section view, right, uh, breaking away from the original yeah, object 
oh, we're just showing you. I'm gonna go back to show, all right, so where that is. We're not showing you any other thing but this. So let's go back to the in place. See, like how um, this is staying. And of course, this is protruding from the original, yeah? Let's go back uh, to the original shape. That's because you have rotated it. Okay, don't forget, revolve means that like you're rotating along the axis. That's why you can be able to see what you cannot see from that side, yeah, from the side view. Because we are uh, uh, rotating the internal feature so to the front view. Yeah, therefore, we can be able to see the whole thing like that in a sectioning. Okay. Now we'll get into revolve features in section. So that's the uh, features in your standard projections and the section views, yeah? Revolve features mean the features that have been rotated, okay, to some degree. So um, it's a very complex convention um, because we're dealing with the aligned features, yeah? Um, so features are rotated or revolved into a plane, okay, either a projection or cutting plane. So you can be able to clearly see the relation and the position, okay? Uh, these characteristics are, are belong to the, these internal, internal features of that model, yeah? So complex features are your spokes of your wheels or your ribs and then your webs, all right, and your casting. I already told you about this, your holes and the holes relationship, yeah? So let's take a look at the revolve feature in your standard projection how we can see them and also in the section view. So here is an uneven number, you yeah? this is your uh, model, example model right here. So when you're dealing with an uneven number, you yeah, of spokes or your ribs or your webs, right, in castings, and they are like arranged in a polar, okay, orientation. Um, so when you're dealing with that, what you do is we're going to pick a feature that is closest to our eyes, right? And then you're going to rotate it. And you're going to rotate it. And when when are you going to stop that rotation? You will stop it when it hits the projection plane, yeah? Meaning like um, you will rotate around until until the, uh, until that uh, view, right? Section view is in the projection plane, okay? So if you're dealing with the front, of course, you rotate it until you get the front view. If you're dealing with the right, then you rotate it until you get to the right view. Uh, that's what you're. Uh, that, that's what it's saying. Yeah, don't think too much. Uh, some students I find um, many, many times that they think a lot, and then they get into serious confusion <laughs> like reading. So don't do that. It's just okay. Dealing with the uh, uh, uneven numbers of you know like uh, complicated features and uh, you have to do a lot of uh, rotating in order for you to get the best view meaning like to be able to see the feature internal feature clearly yeah so what's the best view the best view is uh, 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 to be able to see on the projection plane of course in your eyes yeah in your line of sight um, okay and we will achieve that yeah by rotating in your drawing of course um, okay so we're dealing with this uh, example we're going to rotate the spoke of your wheel of course on the right uh, into the projection plane yeah so this is your front and this is your right yeah and and we want to definitely study this area in our section view yeah because it's difficult for us to be able to uh, estimate or see it uh, from the front view so se sectioning is uh, is required yeah uh, in this case Okay, so this is your right view. We're going to do our true projection. Yeah, this is your vault of a vault of wheel that you're dealing with in this example. And we have our right side view where we can be able to see there's a little section here. Yeah, it looks like they have like a different, yeah, uh, length and also different angles. Um, you feel like this is kind of like incorrect, yeah, um, representation. So let's take a look at it. So the spoke uh, on the right, yeah, is rotated. So here there's a one, two, three, yeah, uh, spoke here. So you are going to uh, rotate the one on the right. We're going to rotate it. Oh, some people have, uh, you know, like an issue calling a spoke. It's just a bar, yeah, a shaft, okay. 
you can call it in any way you can you want to call it okay doesn't really need to call it the same term as the author yeah I can just call it just a shift, you know, shift on the wheel. Anyway, so it was rotated, right? We will rotate it to the projection plane, which is this guy right now, yeah, uh, here, yeah. Okay, so that's how we rotate it. So now we edit the rotation. So let's go back, all right? That is this, okay, from the right side view. And we are rotating it, okay? So when you rotate it, you get, see, rotation happened. So now we are going to work on this, all right, a right side view. So now since you have rotated it, it became uh, visible, yeah, from the right side view. It's not hidden anymore like it was before, yeah. So let's go back, rotate it, yeah. We're going to throw our visible line, of course. And you have your phantom, all right, the representation here. It doesn't exist. It's just showing you the phantom, all right, motion, of course. And we will remove it. Okay, so now it's been rotated and you're seeing the rotated view of it. And now we got to convert the projection into a correct, a full uh, section view. So, so oh, let's see how we do that. Yeah, and here is our cutting plane. We're going to cut it down that way. And we're going to look at it from the right side view of this, all right, a uh, cut plane. You'll be throwing in all of your... Uh, cross hatch okay inside that is what we're seeing underneath of that okay or behind that I would say because this is your front view yeah and here is your uh, your shelf okay your spoke rotated one of course and this is the center of your shelf inside and here is your uh, section area exposed a section area in that uh, sectioning yeah which is your cutting plane so we uh, uh, put all of our cross uh, hedge lines right in there so you can see yeah the section areas and that is your section a and a so a dash a right in there okay so now we have a pretty neat uh, section a dash a yeah section a, a um completed drawing right here yeah and it's pretty obvious you can see the origin of the section view but of course we also have the cutting plane and also the section uh dexinator yeah which is your labels of course okay here is the correct full section view we are removing the cutting plane here we don't need it okay we're removing our labels which is this guy off of it yeah so you have a very clearly drawn uh section view of this all right uh evolve wheel okay let's uh, view our animation and here is your fourth wheel we're going to turn and we're going to project it to the right side erase everything that you need to erase okay and that's your cutting plane and we draw it okay so that's a pretty uh, easy I'm gonna do just a stop right here and uh, uh, see there it is yeah here's your one and two areas cross hatched yep and this is your spoke which is your shaft in your valve wheel okay we want this to be here so you can see the phantom line yeah before you just rotate it so that way we can be able to draw neat yeah uh section view okay yeah that's it for this section so let's stop it here